For number seven, we're gonna come back to map 18700, and this time we're gonna locate a point offshore, and then we're going to determine what that position is. After we do that, we're going to find the course to get back to Morro Bay from that new position. So the first thing we're gonna do is locate our position offshore. We're setting off from Morro Bay, and we realize with our GPS system, we are eight and a half nautical miles from the radio tower at Point Bouchon. So what we're gonna do is use our divider and because we know that every minute of latitude is equal to one nautical mile, we can open up the divider to eight and a half nautical miles by opening it up to eight and a half minutes on the latitude scale. So you can see the divider is opened up to eight and a half minutes, which is equal to eight and a half nautical miles. Now we're gonna draw a circle around Point Bouchon that shows all points that are eight and a half nautical miles from Point Bouchon. Okay, we also know that we're 12 miles from the tower at Port San Luis. So now we have to open up our divider to 12 nautical miles. Again, equivalent to 12 minutes. So now we can draw another circle this time from Point San Luis. And see where the lines intersect. We didn't draw the circle wide enough so we can go back. Putting our divider back to eight and a half nautical miles. just enlarge our circle from Point Bouchon. And make sure that that line intersects perfect with our line from Point St. Louis. We can mark that on the map. If you can find that at your map at home, you can go ahead and use your digital map to identify latitude and longitude. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna line up the yardstick for you and you can record the values from this video as well. Okay, so here we are for our latitude value. We're gonna mark that. And if you wanna pause the video right now, you can do that and you can record your value for latitude. Next, we're gonna do the same for longitude. So again, find your mark. And then we're gonna move that yardstick. And record our longitude. Again, you can pause the video if you like. You can see where you're at right before 121 degrees west longitude and record your value in degrees and decimal minutes.